In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a sky like this, full of numerous stars. You can try some expensive method like particle systems, but we will show one simple and dirty way to achieve the same effect through procedural nodes. Let us start with a blank new composition. In place of this default cube, you can use a planet, or maybe a spaceship, or just anything you like. First go to the World tab, and change the environment color to complete black. To see the effect, turn on the rendered view mode. And also, turn off this overlay, so that we have a clean background, or the sky. We will now it starts to it. Let us split this screen, to open a shader editor side by side. We can close this section. By default, Blender added these two nodes, for the material of our default cube, but we need to rather work on the world environment. So in this drop-down, select the world option. Now we get a background node. We will make changes to it. Let us make some rooms for the other nodes to be added. The first one to add is a Voronoi texture. Connect its distance output to the color input of the background node. We can see the Voronoi pattern here. If you increase the scale value higher and higher, the pattern would also change. At around 75, this turns into a dotted texture. Now, if we can somehow invert these black and white colors, we will get something similar to a star pattern. It may not sound very impressive yet, but let us try it out. To invert it, add one map range node from the converter menu, and place it in between the Voronoi texture and the background node. Our focus should be on these min and max fields. To invert the pattern, the min value should be higher than the maximum. Let us enter 0.1 for the min, and change the max to 0. As we do that, the world environment dramatically changes into a starred sky. But let us make it even better. First, change this type from F1 to smooth F1. Increase the scale value to say, 200s. And also change the from min field, to something around 0.05. Looks great. To increase the number of these stars, or their intensity, change the value of this field, to max, to 5. We get some bright stars. But in the sky, we see a mix of bright stars, as well as some stars which are very faint. So let us add some faint stars. Select these two nodes and press Shift-D on your keyboard to duplicate them. Change the scale value to 350 for this Voronoi texture, and change the last field of this map range to 2. Then connect it to the background node. We can now see a good number of faint stars. To join these two sets, add one math node from the converter menu, and place it between these two nodes. Ensure it is add type and join the two map range nodes to the two input handles of this add node. Now we have a mix of bright and faint stars. But each set has a uniform intensity. We can fine tune this by varying the intensity at random. For that, we need to use a noise texture. Let us make some room first. Now add another math node from the converter set. Place this node before the background node. Then change the type to multiply. And for this multiplication factor, go to the add menu, and add a noise texture. We will use it for the randomness. Change the scale to say 10. And the detail value to 20. There is nothing specific about these values, you can experiment with them, and find out what is the best for you. Connect this FAC to the multiplication factor of the multiply node. Now we have our final output ready. We have numerous stars in all directions. If you rotate the viewport, you can see different parts of the night sky, even in the up and down directions. You can also zoom in or zoom out, it won't affect the stars, as they are far far away. And you can use a different color for these stars, instead of pure white. For example, you may want to make them little bluish in look. For that, change this node output to the strength field. And in the color, change the black to some very light shade of blue. Let us pick up something, like this. Do not use a deep blue color, otherwise it will look unreal. Just a faint blue like this is good enough. So our night sky is ready for use. I will show you the final node setup, so you can take a note. Please try with different combination of values for these nodes, and you will discover many variations in the star pattern. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.